Smart Tech. Today I'm going to demo Smart Apps Creator here. And today I'm going to go through briefly all the tabs here. Edit, Insert, Template, Animation, Interaction, and Page. I will show you how to use it and I will show you how to apply it. Okay, so let's get started. So right now I need the cover page for my project. So I'll click Insert insert an image okay my image is here and then I need a title so insert text insert a text here and then I will be typing the title of my project and then I can choose uh, how uh, the font the font size and then I want to make the title looks like a banner so I will do this I go to the edit tab And I will choose the background color. I choose it as a black. And I can choose how black I want it to be. And then I can choose the word uh, text color. I want it to be white. So right now I made a banner. And we can preview it. We can see how it looks like on your device, pads or phones, by clicking here. Preview. Okay, now we see. And if you are on other page, like uh, page one, if you, you click preview, it will on, only preview the current page. But if you if you want to uh, preview the whole project, you need to click preview from the top. And also you can set uh, how long the cover page you want it to last by clicking here page tab and start page time it's three seconds and I'm gonna adjust it to two seconds and the start page is uh, like a, a page to show your company your name this is not like the beginning of your project. The, the real beginning of your project will start on page one here. So my project is about Lan Yu travel introduction. So I'm gonna make a content uh, to let people browsing. And I'm going to insert an image, a, a small map. And I already made a route so I'm gonna insert it from the resource tab okay so now uh, I want my user uh, to when when they are tap their finger when they put their finger on my red icon I want some animation show up and I want my project could be interacted with my user so now I want to introduce you hotspot here. I choose one hotspot and I cover it on the red spot. Which means when people put their finger on the red spot, something will happen. And now I want uh, a bubble appears here. I want a villager introduction shows here when people click on the red spot. Okay, so now I prepare my work here.
Okay, so now pay attention to my setting. I want to set here. I click intersec in interaction tab and click the hotspot. I want people when they are when they touch the hotspot the long uh, the bubble appear and then click add and you can see all your interaction or animation on the right side of your screen here and by the way when uh, click the bubble and you can find the setting here hide the object when browsing because I don't want this bubble show up unless people put their finger on my rest spot so let's preview so if people press the red spot the bubble will happen but if I want to make the bubble happens more subtle I need to go to the animation setting to put some animation to my bubble so I click the bubble and click animation you can choose what kind of animation you want okay I choose float in and the effect means the direction and now here there's the animation effect here it's a, uh, a curve line that shows uh, what's the uh, tempo of your animation you want it to be so you can see uh, a lot of different tempo I will uh, demo this next time but today I'm going to choose the easy one the is empty and you can preview it from here and remember to click add and now there's an animation on our bubble so we need to go back to hotspot to change our setting we go to hotspot and we click the interaction on the right side of your uh, on the right side of your screen and we click the set uh, the content that we already made and we will see the appear here but the, our bubble right now has an animation so we can we need to change to play single animation and then now you can see it will play the bubbles animation here and now I'm going to introduce you the image sequence function here uh, image sequence function is like a, you can uh, combine a lot of similar picture together and to make it like an animation now I will show you so click image sequence and put a series of uh, similar picture now I have five here then the image changing interval means how fast you want your image to be displayed ok submit and now I uh, when my bubble, I want to make an inter interaction on my bubble. When my bubble's animation is played and stopped, I want the sequence of images to be played. And so I click bubble and I put in interaction on it. Animation end. Object is the image sequence. And it should be played. And remember, click add. And also remember to uh, go to the image sequence and cancel the play when browsing. If you don't cancel, the image sequence will play right away when browsing. So now let's preview. I want my user to touch the red icon and it show up and then the image sequence play. So. Uh, this is the basic interaction and animation applying of SAC. See you next time.